The CData SSIS data flow components are a powerful set of SSIS components that allow you to easily work with 250 plus popular SAS, big data, and NoSQL sources in SSIS workflows. In this video, we walk through getting started with the CData SSIS component by installing the component and creating a data flow task. This video features the CData SSIS component for Salesforce, but the principles apply to any of the 200 plus data sources we support. To begin, navigate to cdata.com slash SSIS and download the SSIS component. Run the installer and follow the instructions for installation. Once the component is installed, open Microsoft Visual Studio. In the bottom panel of your integration services project, right-click and select New Connection. Then select Seed Data Salesforce Connection Manager from the list and click Add. Choose Basic for the auth scheme and enter your connection information. Next, click Test Connection. Click OK. Next, drop a new data flow task into the package. In the data flow task, drop a C data Salesforce source component. Double click the component and select the connection manager that we previously created. Then select a table or view to replicate. Next, drag a SQL server destination component into the task. Double-click the component and add a new connection manager. Once you've connected, select or create a new table and map the columns as needed. Click Start to run the data flow task. At this point, you have created a data flow task for replicating your Salesforce data to a SQL Server database. And that's everything you need to know to access Salesforce data in SSIS using CData's SSIS component. To get started with CData SSIS components, visit cdata.com slash SSIS and download a free trial. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can find more resources at cdata.com.